Hi, my name is Prentice Penny, and I'm a writer, producer, and director. If you've seen such shows as Insecure on HBO or Brooklyn Nine-Nine or Girlfriends, then you've seen some of my work. I'm here to encourage you to support literacy and reading by supporting the Long Beach Public Library Foundation with any dollar amount that you are able to give. Obviously, in my line of work, uh, literacy is one of the top requirements. And as a result, I'm going to read a short excerpt from uh, a book I really enjoy, which is actually, I'm actually adapting this book into a movie right now. And it's called Compton Cowboys. And it's about a group of kids that grew up in Compton who uh, found a ranch and uh, used horses to sort of find their way out of um, expected expectations of how their life should go and how the horses and themselves made their lives better. One morning though, at the corner of Broadway on 134th, her horse's breath began to pick up and his knees began to wobble. He shook uncontrollably, forcing Kiara to jump off the saddle and into a thorny bush. Moments later, Skip, her horse, collapsed in the middle of the street. Kiara placed her hand under his nose, hoping to feel his breath, but there was nothing. She yelled Skip's name as her horse's eyes suddenly began to roll into the back of his head. And within moments, he laid lifeless in the street a few blocks away from where her brother had just been killed one month before. The intersection of Broadway and 134th had historically been a popular murder location. It was just blocks away from the Athens Park home to the infamous Athens Park Bloods and one of the most notorious blood gangs in Los Angeles. A dead body in the street was the norm, but a dead horse drew more attention. Kiera took off her boots and began to weep in front of the crowd that had gathered next to her house. She sat on the curb and thought about the deaths of her brother and her horse. Two of the most important things in life had been taken from her, but she would not give up. You can check out this or many other books at your local library or online at www.longbeach.gov backslash library, which is why your support is so necessary, especially now. And not that you're done reading and you put the kids to bed, Uncork your favorite beverage and check out my debut film, which is now playing on Netflix called Uncorked, starring actor Courtney B. Vance and actress Niecy Nash. I hope you enjoy it. Happy reading. Cheers.